हेलो सी के एस्पिरेंट्स मेनी पीपल आर क्लियरिंग एग्जाम बाय वाचिंग माय वीडियोस एंड डूइंग हैंड्स ऑन दे आर पोस्टिंग ऑन लिंकड एंड दे आर शेयरिंग देयर रिजल्ट्स इन कमेंट सेक्शन सो आई एम वेरी हम्बल्ड एंड आई एम रियली प्राउड दैट माय वीडियोस आर हेल्पिंग एस्पिरेंट्स टू क्लियर देयर एग्जाम सो द मोस्ट अवेटेड अपडेट हैज कम फॉर द सी एग्जाम एवरी वन वेडिंग फॉर द चेंजेस इन द एग्जाम पैटर्न ऑफ सी so the new pattern is going to be released on tuesday february 18 2025 00 utc any exams taken on or after that date will reflect the changes previously communicated so if you want to understand what all changes the new pattern will include please follow this video till end because i'll explain all the topics that has been included and what will be the weightage of those topics and if you have any questions or any doubt feel free to ask in the comments many people are asking me if existing videos of mine will help in the new pattern of the ck exam so the answer is very simple definitely yes because those questions are already covering what is there is just that there are few new topics that are getting added which i'll be covering in upcoming videos so don't worry about that go through my all videos and stay subscribed because i'll be publishing more videos around these questions so let's jump and see what is changing so what is changing on cka cka domains for example storage troubleshooting etc will remain unchanged any cka exam taken after the update release will test on new set of domains and competencies for example a certified kubernetes administrator will be able to demonstrate their ability to do basic installation as well as configuring and managing production grade kubernetes cluster secondly understand key concepts such as kubernetes networking storage security maintenance logging monitoring application life cycle troubleshooting api object primitives thirdly ability to establish basic use cases for end users so the objective will be based on these three points for the ck exam now let me deep dive into each section so the very first section is storage that will consist of 10% of the weightage here the objective will be implement storage classes and dynamic volume provisioning previously like the simple storage class was used to ask in the exam but now they are enhancing it to dynamic volume provisioning as well second is configure volume type access mode and reclaim policy third is manage persistent volumes and persistent volume claims so there might be questions like a volume is there and the pvc is there they are not bind there might be questions to troubleshoot that or you know to create a pvc and pv next thing is workloads and scheduling this will consist of 15% of weightage and the aim here will be understand application deployment and how to perform rolling update and rollbacks use of config map and secrets to configure your application configure workload auto scaling understand the primitives used to create robust self healing application deployment configure pod admission and scheduling for example limits node affinity etc the third section will be about servicing and networking this will comprise of 20% weightage understand connectivity between pods define and enforce network policy use cluster ip node port load balancer service types and endpoints and use of gateway api to manage ingress traffic know how to use ingress controller and ingress resources understand and use of core dns next section will be about cluster architecture installation and configuration and the weightage for this will be 25% here the objective will be manage role based access control that is rbac prepare underlying infrastructure for installing kubernetes cluster create and manage kubernetes cluster using kubeadm this kubeadm thing was already there is just that there might be some new questions that you might see about it another thing will be like manage the life cycle of kubernetes cluster implement and configure a highly available control plane use helm and customize to install cluster component so previously there was no helm and customize that were being asked but now they will ask helm and customize as well so i'll be creating videos around that so stay subscribed for the latest questions and topics another thing will be understand extension interfaces like cni csi cri etc and understand crds install and configure operators so crds are custom resource definitions 
another section will be about troubleshooting and this will be the most weightage carrying topic that will carry 30 percent of the weightage the main objective here will be to troubleshoot cluster and nodes troubleshoot cluster components monitor cluster and application resource usage manage and evaluate container output stream troubleshoot services and networking so if we talk about like troubleshooting and the cluster architecture installation configuration has got more than 50 percent that is 55 percent of the whole weightage the focus has really shift to more of administration part so this is what will be included in the new exam pattern 